Check out future broadcasts and podcasts on Patreon by us as the United Vegetarians. Once more, the United Vegetarians on Patreon. Empaths into telepaths. 11,111 to the 111th power. Asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. Once more. Empaths into telepaths. 11,111 to the 111th power. Asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. We have grown from or shifted from empaths into telepaths because of our evolving of intelligence. Our evolving intelligence has let us, uh, at one point, trying to figure out what we were feeling as far as the energies that were around us being empaths. We were, at one point, what, scanning or able to pick up on people's energies and vibrations as empaths, able to you know, guess exactly what their intentions were or how they felt. Truly guessing isn't the same as receiving intelligence as we are being telepaths. Dealing with, again, the the reception, telegraph intelligence from our upper and outer dimensional souls and selves. It's the omni-intelligence that a lot of people, a lot of our people have not been able to plug back into. To further upload, to upgrade and upload, you know, our intelligence that we are um, individually pulling in within our individual experiences. But as a collective, we are plugging back in to project, um, you know, our collective experience as we are evolving and shifting uh, the planes, every plane of the earth and Shifting all spaces and places within the voids of creations or within the voids of spaces. Peace, power, soul, elevated activation and beyond the voids of creation. We are the United Futuritarians once more. The United Futuritarians. One more time, the United Futuritarians. Being empaths, we were on the precursor of being telepaths. You would say our ability to um, convert, we're still able to convert the spiritual energy, transmuting it into um, that neutral energy and radiance, that next frequency. But however, the being an empath dealt with the emotions, the emotional side of uh, what you say, our evolving, having to understand a lot of people's emotions because you're constantly picking up on these same frequencies and vibrations once more constantly picking up on the same those same emotions because you are able to feel those same vibrations and energies within people that's how we are sure or aware of our growth from being empaths to telepaths going from being unsure to reassured or reassured because of our alignment with the rays our alignment to the future to new and next ways or new and next experiences As a collective power source, we have aligned back. Being telepaths, we have aligned to the source memory. We have accessed source memory. Or the source mind, which further created the voids of creations. And everything within the voids of creations. The continuous echoing. The eternal echoing of pure intelligence. Or omni- Intelligence. It goes in order. Empaths to telepaths. In order to become a telepath, you must be dialed up in frequency. Or you must be tuned up into a higher frequency. That higher frequency is the uni frequency. Us being unified, but ultimately we call it the omni frequency. The omni projectional frequencies that we're going to put out. As wands walking with wands, leaders walking with leaders, activationist walking with activationist, activationist walking with activationist. Our vision has become more and more clear, being telepaths. Telepathy unlocks all other elevated sensories and abilities that we have as beings. One reason is because it deals with the mind, the mind being activated by the soul and the mind activating your physical 
being, your physical dimensional being. That goes forward, like I've always said, to the transforming and transferring of power and intelligence. As telepaths, we're not showing any emotions. Empaths show emotions because it's M, emotional paths, versus tele, elevated paths, telegraph paths, taking the higher road and not going back and forth. Um, like I said, arguing with people on the internet and worrying about teachers and worrying about um, other things. That's not, you know, why you're here. That's not why we're here. We're here to shift things and as janitors clean up, causing the reset or causing the reset. We've caused the shift because we keep on shifting. So everything around us has to shift or adapt or it becomes obsolete or null and void. Like I said, voiding information becomes null and void. I mean, vo information becomes um, null and void for us because we've voided it and have now aligned with future intelligence or we've been aligned with future intelligence for quite some time. Being aligned with the future intelligence allows us to keep on making those Elevated leaps forward. Our telepathy has inclined or scaled up because of our expanding minds. Because our minds will expand, our frequency will expand. Ultimately, our mind is a frequency. A frequency that's dealing with, I say, memory is not created. Our minds were not created. That's why it will always transcend spaces and places. It will always transcend the voids of creations. We're saying that we have aligned with the source memory. We have access to source memory. And that's how we're able to uh, pull in and extract future memories. That's why we are constantly being pulled forward because we have aligned with those future memories which have allowed us to access the intelligence and for us to build ourselves up to those points in the physical state that we're in currently. We're building up to those to those realities or we're letting those realities play themselves in but ultimately play themselves out for us to keep going forward as once walking with ones, walking with ones, or activationist walking with activationist. Activationist walking with activationist. Leaders walking with leaders, ones walking with ones. A true 11 in this power state, dealing with 11 turned horizontally, it makes the equal symbol more leveling up, more powering up, more dialing up. Because when you see most dials, and then when you're turning the dial up, you see a whole bunch of ones that are rep representing new and next marks or new and next notches that we can go, that we will go. So it's more, uh, like I said, scaling up. We have to think bigger. As we expand, we can't think how we used to think. We must think bigger. Think more elevated, not think deeper. Deeper means going back to information. That means going back to becoming an empath and you're still confused and you're not sure. You're unsure and not reassured or reassured by way of your alignment to the future, the radiance, the rays. Not from just our sun, but from all stargates and portals. We are always saying we are ones, walking with ones, because we're walking a neutral path. We're not dueling with anybody. We're not battling anybody. Say, we don't want smoke with anybody because we're not here to battle and duel with anybody. We're not here to have smoke with anybody. We're here to unite, expand, and balance out. Having to unite. Is what allows to that balance and expansion. With conflict and confusion and arguing, there is no growth. There is no expansion. It's just people being drained out, being drained, or they're them becoming, uh, like I said, tired because they're utilizing energy that could be utilized somewhere else. You're utilizing energy in the wrong places and spaces, whether it be in the physical world and like I said, your aspect of you trying to elevate soulfully and mentally. 
that's why you're not going nowhere because you're utilizing energy, putting it in the wrong spaces and places. Like for one, people trying to focus on us. Focus on why you're here. Focus on why you have a, a special alignment to the upper and outer dimensions because we're all there anyway. But people are still caught up in the ego. They're very naive. Naive to our unity or they're oblivious to our unity. Like I said, we all play a part in moving the planet forward. And that's why we are calling ourselves United Future Tarians once more. But United Future Tarians as leaders walking with leaders, ones walking with ones, activisionists walking with activisionists. Going from empaths to becoming telepaths. We're not concerned with the spiritual energies, the moon frequencies, the moon energies dealing with, dealing with the, the, like I said, secondary spiritual energy, water energy. We've gone on above and beyond that because water is abstract. It's amorphous. It's not solid. Our future is solid. It's guaranteed that we're going to keep expanding into new and next beings or elevated beings, elemental beings. Because our minds, as the source memory, which are calling ourselves, you heard that here first. I'll check out that uh, podcast that we did a while back talking about accessing source memory. Excuse me, accessing source memory, which is on uh, YouTube, on Spotify, all over. Check us out again on Spotify, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, Breaker YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, um, Patreon, Rumble, all the places. We are not stuck on understanding why things uh, are the way they are. Dealing with the lower dimensions, dealing with the lower frequencies. We just said, hey, they are what they are. We must go above and beyond that because that's truly not us. That's truly not us as a unified frequency, a unified um, collective source of power. We're above and beyond limitation, stagnation, and the worries and concerns of people who are not over here. It takes time. There is no rush. But at the same time, we we've, we've said and come to the reality as a council that people who say there's no rush, they're really just procrastinating. We want to address certain things that need to be addressed and having to put them off because you're not ready. Well, then we're going to just move above, move above and beyond because there's no waiting. It's called we are going to have to stick together as leaders walking with leaders, once walking with ones, activationist walking with activationist. It's all about how much effort you give, which may make the process take longer or not. So if you're giving half-ass effort, how do you expect things to move forward? How do you expect the planet to move forward if you're only giving 1% of your energy when you can give all your energy to move the planet forward? That's why we're here. We're not here to be going back and forth and arguing with people on, on, on the internet or arguing with teachers or debating with anybody. We're not here for that. We're elevated telepaths or elevated beings as omni intelligence. Is is that's just the the reality of everything. Doesn't matter what you call us, what you might feel, but we're here to unite and move things forward. A united future Tarians, once more, a united future Tarians. Leaders walking with leaders, wands walking with wands, activisionist walking with activisionist. We call ourselves the eleven, as in one and one. Wands walking with wands. It's that simple. Because when you look at the eleven, it's like you have two conduits standing together, which are pulling in power, like the U for the magnet frequency. We're united. Magnetic attraction for those chosen ones who are actually predestined to move the planet for it. Not just talking, but actually amplifying things here and in the next, and in the next, 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 and beyond nexus. Continuously exiting out of exiting out of old states of power into new next ones. Peace, power, soul. We are ones, walking with ones, walking with ones. But true 11 in this power state. Peace, power, soul. I am our nuclear future ray, leader amongst ones, a leadership calling ourselves the United Future Tarians. 
Shout out to Brother Cosmo Uni One, Uni Fresh, on his Spotify, um, which is New Life, N U L I F E on Spotify by Cosmo Uni Fresh, Uni One, Uni Fresh. Um, check out Brother Sunshift um, on his um, Instagram with crystals and you know his like I said so much power with that and which we all do as the council everything that we do is only going to uh, shape things forward even faster because we're unified you can't break a unified bond a soul bond a soul bond or soul ties dealing with just um, moving things forward on the planet it takes the tie us souls coming together and uniting which creates a whole new next frequency an amplifier frequency which will only be echoed down to all aspects or it will be echoed out to all aspects of being around us not just oh we're talking about us no we're talking about everything will be shifted because we're shifting it's like dominoes <laughs> peace power soul we are ones Welcome back to Soul Power 111.11 as the United Vegetarians. Check us out on Pop and Google Podcasts, Odyssey, Patreon, TikTok, Twitter, Anchor.fm, YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, Instagram, Apple Podcasts as the United Vegetarians radio show. As the true 11 in this power state, as the ones walking with ones walking with ones. You are now tuned in to the United Vegetarians radio show hosted by the United Vegetarians. Ones walking for ones, walking for ones, walking for ones. The true 11 in this power state. You are now tuned in to the United Vegetarians radio show, hosted by the United Vegetarians. Ones walking for ones, walking for ones, walking for ones. The true 11 in this power state. Bringing forth future intelligence and new clarity. Check us out on Podbean, Patreon, Google Podcasts, TikTok, Odyssey, Twitter, Anchor.fm, Spotify, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Apple Podcasts. Walking into the sun. Oh, yeah, 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 here we go up this road. 